Hey you guys, it's Susan Morad right back here on Clever News and heartbreaking new details have emerged surrounding the tragic death of Maya Rivera, including her very last words before disappearing into Lake Piru. As many fans continue to mourn the tragic death of Glee star Naya Rivera, even more details have emerged following a full autopsy and investigative reports released on Friday by the Ventura County Medical Examiner. Naya passed on July the 8th after accidentally drowning while boating with her four-year-old son Josie at Lake Piru in Ventura County, California. According to the investigative report obtained by People, Josie revealed that before she disappeared into the water, the two counted one, two, three before jumping off their rented pontoon boat into the water. After both getting into the water, Josie claimed that Naya told him to get back on the boat as the report also stated, quote, she helped him onto the boat. He then heard Naya yell help and she put her arm up in the air. She then disappeared into the water. Not only did the report reveal Naya's last moments before she drowned, but officials also noted that although Naya was in good health, she had a history of vertigo, which is a medical condition that causes dizziness and spinning triggered by sudden movements. Her vertigo would reportedly get worse when she was in the water, as she was previously treated for the condition at Seda Sinai Hospital prior to her death. Although Naya was considered to be a good swimmer, officials claimed that Naya would have vertigo to the point of vomiting, but that she learned to control the symptoms with antihistamines. That said, her cause of death is still considered an accidental drowning, considered she had, quote, no known history of suicidal ideation or attempt. Naya's autopsy also revealed that she had been prescribed Adderall for anxiety and was also on medication for a sinus infection. According to the report, Naya also regularly used a marijuana vape pen and would smoke a pack of cigarettes per week. The toxicology report also revealed that she had low-level amounts of amphetamine, diazepam, ethanol, and phentamine which in medical terms equate to Adderall, appetite suppressants, and small therapeutic amounts of anti-anxiety medications. Along with prescription medications, caffeine and very low levels of alcohol were found in Naya's system, equating to a blood alcohol level of 0.016. The report also detailed the contents of her bag, stating, quote, Naya's cell phone, syringes with a pink fluid substance, identification, and a filled prescription slip for amphetamine was found in her purse. Three 12 ounce white claw alcohol cans were located near her purse. One of the cans was empty, one was open and about three quarters full, and one was unopened. There was a bag with food items on a bench seat near the front of the boat. As officials previously reported, staff found the rental pontoon boat after it was overdue for its three hour rental, with Josie, who was wearing a life jacket, sleeping alone and unharmed. An adult life jacket, which was presumed to be for Naya, was found on the boat unused as first responders announced the next day that her disappearance was considered a horrible accident. Based on the report Naya's son gave when authorities found him, it appeared that Naya helped him back up onto the boat as officials claimed that she, quote, mustered enough energy to get her son back on the boat, but not enough to save herself. Naya's body was found five days later floating in an area of the lake about 30 feet deep after she had likely been trapped in thick vegetation underwater for several days before floating to the top. Weeks later on July 24th, Naya's body was laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles, as the document filed in Ventura County confirmed that her cause of death was drowning, also stating that she died within a matter of minutes. We know this isn't an easy pill to swallow, but we can only hope Naya's family and loved ones continue to get the closure they need during this difficult time. Share some love and well wishes to Naya's family and friends right here in the comment section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.